Hello guys, update on the Halfwave NFED multiband antenna feeder uh, 2E0 VOV. As you can see we've got a nice match here at the moment. Um, you've seen the tuner which was already set up on um, a resistor to make sure it was completely resistive match. And I now atten attached a wire which I'll take you out and show you. Um, as you can see, here's the antenna currently sat isolated from ground. My intention is to use it for a kite, so um, I wanted it to stay up at some sort of form of sloper, which currently runs right up into the tree there. I'm not sure if the camera will get it. Okay, I wanted to know I was going to get somewhere near what I wanted. So, as you can see, it's not at all bothered about the fact that I've just walked in and out. No interest in it at all. Hasn't changed. The uh, uh, results are quite impressive actually. I'm very happy with it. I'm going to test it on air next. But um, considering it was set up on the bench and set up as you would expect as dictated by uh, uh, AA5TB the man who seems to know very well about his half-wave antennas or end-fed half-waves he did state that you probably wouldn't need any form of counterpoise well I've tried um, a 5% counterpoise as is advice it may be required but shouldn't be tried that it made no difference to readings on the meter whether I was touching it or not or whether the coax was rolled out or not it had no effect on it at all and I also tried a quarter wave counterpoise which had no effect at all so I can honestly say and agree with this statement if the antenna is actually tuned to be resonant on the frequency you require and the tuner is preset on the bench you will not require a counterpoise it's completely resonant and my little unit runs from 40 down to 15 on the infed so hopefully that'll give you something to uh, give you a head start if you ever want to know any more about that sort of thing and we hope to catch you further down the log 73's from 2E0 VOV